A man and his wife were called a Adam and Eve of a multi-level marketing MLM scheme by the prosecution, having spearheaded the program in Singapore. Mohammad Hisham Mohammad Idris, 58, and his wife, Nanovi Janti Imam Megraf, 53, were the first two persons to participate in and promote the illegal Galaxy Trio referral program, having brought it into Singapore in 2013. On December 27, Hisham was convicted on two charges under the Multilevel Marketing and Pyramid Selling Prohibition Act MLMA and sentenced to four months jail, a $10,000 fine, and a penalty of $27. 509. A third similar charge was taken into consideration for sentencing. He is currently out on bail, pending an appeal. Each of the charges relate to him promoting the Galaxy Trio scheme with his wife, whose case is still pending. Galaxy Trio is a foreign company that was started in January 2013. Around that time, a person identified only as one Vanessa, who claimed to be from Galaxy Trio met Hisham and Nanovi in Singapore and invited them to be involved in the program by training others on how to promote the scheme. The couple agreed and became the first two in Singapore to join the program, which was also promoted in Malaysia, Indonesia, Brunei, and the Philippines. By being the first to join here, the couple became the highest appliance in Singapore, and they promoted the scheme for more than two years. From March 2013 to May 2015, the scheme involved two types of boards with pyramid structures, which participants could join for a fee. One was a mass board, which cost 300 US dollars, 400 Singapore dollars to join. And the other was a Jupiter board that cost 1,500 US dollars to join. Members could open multiple accounts for more places on the boards, with bonuses for different positions and referrals. A referral bonus on a mass board was 25 US dollars, while the bonus on a Jupiter board was 75 US dollars. The accounts for participants were opened via the Galaxy Trio website, and the accounts gave them access to several ebooks and audio tracks. The bonuses were deposited into participants' e-wallets on the website, which they could then withdraw for a 10% processing fee and an additional charge of 3% on the remaining sum. This meant that for a withdrawal of $100, a participant would get $87.30. Hisham had registered a partnership named GT Academy in May 2013 and rented an office space in Kambangan, to provide training and presentations on the Galaxy Trio program. The partnership was later replaced by GT Academy PT Ltd, which was incorporated by Hisham and Nanovi in March 2014, as Hisham wanted to avoid being sued personally for matters pertaining to GT Academy's business activities. The last participant of the scheme was recruited on May 16, 2015. By then, more than 9,000 accounts had been opened by 3,968 participants, including Hisham and Nanovi. A total sum of at least $3. $3 million had been channeled into the program. Hisham himself had received about $1.3 million in cash from the scheme, but he had paid about $1.27 million in expenses relating to his participation including more than $1 million to buy credits on the site which were used to open accounts. In all, his net benefit was found to be a total of $27,509. The prosecution had urged the court to jail Hisham for a period of 22 to 30 weeks. As there was strong public interest in eliminating such schemes here. In their submissions, Deputy Public Prosecutors Norman Yu and Jonathan Tan said the objective of the MLMA was to enshrine Singapore's zero-tolerance approach to prohibited pyramid selling schemes. As they have an unsustainable business model with the potential to cause widespread financial ruin to participants.
The prosecution added that when the law was passed in the 1970s, the government then found the schemes so problematic that the objective should be to eliminate them entirely rather than try and control them. The prosecution said Hisham's level of involvement in the scheme was high, and second only to Vanessa, who had invited him to spearhead the Galaxy Trio referral program here. The prosecution said Hisham and Nanovi were the highest uplines in Galaxy Trio. They were the Adam and Eve of the 3,966 participants in the scheme, as they could not have joined the scheme without them participating in it first. During sentencing, District Judge Tio Ai Ling noted that while there was no fraudulent intent on Hisham's part and he was not the creator of the scheme, there were substantial and sustained efforts by him to promote it and the scale of its reach had been extensive. A stay of execution on the sentence was granted, with bail of $30.000 offered to Hisham, pending an appeal. For promoting the MLM scheme, he could have been jailed for up to five years and fined up to $200,000.